G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love fudge? It's so delicious, so yummy, so creamy. And I'm gonna show you a super simple way to make it too. So join me today as I show you how to make caramel fudge with sweetened condensed milk. Okay, so we're gonna start this recipe off with a pot on the stove on a medium heat. So the first thing I'm going to add in is 500 grams of brown sugar. Now you're probably asked, can I use white sugar? Honestly, brown sugar is the way to go for caramel. Then on top of that, 150 grams of butter, 125 mils of milk, now about a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla paste like I'm using. And finally, one can of sweetened condensed milk. Uh, look at that sugary goodness. So it's basically sugar on sugar, but that's what fudge is. So just pour that whole can right into our pot. Okay, so all we have to do now is just stir this constantly over the medium heat for about 15 minutes. Now it's important that you keep on stirring it. Don't let it sit there for you know, more than a minute. Otherwise you can or will burn the caramel on the base of the pot. Because it's still a medium heat, but it's, the medium is still pretty high. So medium is enough to burn the ingredients. So just keep on stirring it very well. Okay, so as you can see, it is just bubbling a little bit. Now it's not in a rolling boil or anything like that. It's because it's only at a medium heat. So that's exactly the temperature that you want it at. Any hotter, it's just going to burn. So just a nice simmer like this is perfect. And you're gonna keep on stirring it over the simmer. And that's gonna do two things. It's going to turn the sugar and the condensed milk into a lovely caramel flavor by caramelizing all that sugar. But it's also gonna help transform it so when it does cool down, it's going to harden up into a nice fudgy consistency. So it won't be runny, it won't be rock hard like candy, but it'll just be just right, just so it's nice and soft so when you bite into it, you have that lovely caramel fudge. So just keep on stirring it away for that 15 minutes. Okay, so we've been stirring this for 15 minutes now. And you can see it's already airy and bubbly and it smells delicious. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the heat off, but we're not done yet. We're going to keep on stirring it for a further 10 minutes. And over the 10 minutes, it's really going to start to thicken up nicely. So we'll take it straight off the heat, but keep on stirring it for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's only been a few minutes since I've taken off the heat, and as you can see, it's already starting to thicken up nicely. So it only takes 10 minutes of stirring. It just stops any ingredients from separating, because when it's nice and thick, it'll hold all the ingredients in place. So that's why we don't pour it straight into our pan to cool down. We just want to keep on stirring it just so we can keep everything nice and combined so we have a lovely caramel finish. Okay, so lastly I've just got an oven pan and I've lined it with some non-stick baking paper. Now as I added a hint, because caramel is very sticky, I've also given it a grease, as you can see. Just to grease on top of the paper as well. That'll just help remove our fudge when it's ready. Okay, so what I have to do now is just pour on our delicious fudge. Okay, so once poured, we're just simply going to place this into the fridge for about four hours to completely set. Okay, so it's been a few hours and Look at that, it is completely set. So we're just simply going to remove it from our dish. And see how easy the paper comes off the side, thanks to the greasing. And we have our fudge in, all we have to do now is just cut it up. And look at that, nice clean cut, and it's of a lovely fudgy consistency. 
Now look at that delicious fudge. Cuts up perfectly and it smells delicious too. Now this is a fudge you want to keep in the fridge. You can serve it cold, otherwise it can melt a little bit at room temperature. So it's best to serve it cold, but it will easily stand the test of time if kept out for say half an hour or an hour. So if you're after that super easy caramel fudge recipe that really just takes a few ingredients into a pot all at the same time, this is the perfect choice. So you can have it by itself or with some coffee, but either way it's going to taste simply delish.